Hey everybody, it's Mandy here with Mama's Lunch Room at Fitness in the Day. I want to um, talk about um, what to do or give advice on what to do if you suspect that your significant other, lover, um, may be talking to someone else, cheating or whatever. Um, one of my viewers asked me this question and I'm going to answer it. Um, try to keep it kind of unbiased. Um, so what to do if you suspect that your partner is cheating is, in my opinion, let the shit go. A suspicion is just that. It's a suspicion. So if you suspect someone is doing something and you can't prove it or you don't know for sure, why would you sit there and drive yourself crazy trying to figure out if this person is messing around on you or not? You're basically going to ruin your relationship. You're going to start treating that person differently because you're suspecting them of something that, that, that may not even be true. They may not even be guilty of. And you're going to, you know, be short with them and treat them a certain way because of that. The best thing that you can do is let it go. If you find something that's different, but if you suspect something, please let that shit go. It will ruin your relationship. Um, because the fear, the fear is going to begin to overtake you once you let the suspicion take over and you continuously think about it then you're going to get scared and fear suspicion all that can't live in the same house as love so whatever you gotta do to get your mind off of that shit i would say i don't know read a good book find a hobby a lot of the times when a lot of women are suspicious or they suspect something all the time it's because they're bored they don't have shit else to do with their time other than invest it into negative energy because the I, I don't an idle mind is the devil's workshop. And I'm sure most of you heard you've heard that saying because you're not being productive. You're not doing anything with yourself to better yourself. So I mean where's the positivity in your life? If all you got to do is sit around and suspect shit, you don't have enough going on. Like, you really don't have enough going on. You got to trust the person you're with to say, okay, this person loves me enough to not fuck my family. Or this person loves me enough to not cheat on me. If you don't believe that, then you shouldn't be there in the first place. But if you're there, I mean, if you're there, you obviously believe the person loves you enough to, you know, to take care of your feelings, to take care of you, you know, to be careful with you. I hope you do anyway, but like I said, it all boils down to just, you're fucking idle. You are you are idle right now. Yeah, I don't care if you're working two jobs, if you got enough time to sit around and think what a motherfucker could be doing to you, you're idle. You need to use that time for something more productive. I don't know what you like to do, read, write, sing, jog. Go fishing, go, you know, hang out with your friends, but you're, 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 you're fucking idle and you being idle, you're trying to basically stir up drama in your relationship so that you can feel like something around you is going on. So that's all I got to say about that. I hope I didn't offend anybody, but I was only giving my honest truth. And of course, I'm going to ask Shahid here if that was, I guess, spoken clear enough. All right, thanks for watching. And sorry, it's so damn it's late at night. As you guys can see, I've just been working all day. And I went to Anytime Fitness. So, all right.